friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a 30 minute flat belly, tiny waist hit workout for you. If you're not warmed up already, don't you worry, I will link one of my quick warm ups somewhere up here and also in the description box down below. Before we jump into the workout, I wanna take a moment to be completely honest and transparent with all of you. I think there are a lot of people out there who think that they can do a workout like this once or maybe several times, and that alone will give them a flat belly, a six pack, and a tiny waist. I'm sorry to inform you that that's not the case. If only everything in life were that simple, am I right? Here's the good news. If you want to achieve a nice flat stomach, maybe get a nice little six pack going on and a nice cinch tiny waist, it can happen. It is totally obtainable, but you have to do your part. So what does that mean? Well, this part is actually quite simple. You need to make sure you're combining your exercises with a healthy, clean diet. That is the secret formula. I say this all the time and it's something I stand by completely. You cannot out-exercise a bad diet. You just can't. So be sure to keep up with your exercises for strengthening and toning and sculpting. And of course, make sure you are fueling your body with healthy, clean, nutritious foods. All right, friends, you don't need any equipment, just a yoga mat, so go grab that and let's have some fun. I have 14 fabulous exercises for you and we'll do that for two circuits. 45 seconds on, 20 seconds of rest in between each exercise. And as always, friends, during your 20 second rest, I will be demonstrating the next exercise so you won't miss a thing. Here is your demonstration for exercise number one. We're going to start with around the world. So we're twisting to the right, rolling back, arcing the arms up and over and rolling up, returning back to center, and then we do the same thing, circling the other way around. Remember, form is the most important thing and you set your own tempo. Let's get it going. All right, and go for it. Make sure you're really scooping the belly and tucking the tail to roll about halfway back. And we're just alternating, circling the arms around to the right and then around to the left. Good, 20 seconds left. Make sure you keep those shoulders down, very important. Almost there, 10 seconds left. Good job, everybody. All right, take your 20 second rest. Here is exercise number two. We're gonna go into our high five twists. Exhale on your twists and we're driving those heels into the floor. Go for it. So we're in that half roll back position. Again, belly scoop, tailbone is tucked. Really reaching your arm across on the diagonal, twisting from the waist. Good, try to keep the legs still. And we're at 20 seconds, stay strong. Beautiful job, friends. All right, here's exercise number three, down onto the forearms. We're doing a twisted knee crunch, really getting into those obliques. And go for it. Extending the legs and twisting from the waist. And we're just alternating sides. 
Only lengthen your legs out as long as your core can support. We really don't want the back arching. We don't want the ribs sticking out. Again, just really keep that belly button pulling in and up. 15 seconds, you can do it. I know this is a tough one. Woo, feel the burn. All right, exercise number four. Let's flip over onto the bellies for our prone twists. Arms are out to the side like a T. And again, twisting side to side. And go for it. Your legs are open about the width of the mat. Exhale on each twist. And remember, even though we're laying on our bellies, we still have to really activate those tummy muscles. Pull your belly button in and up. Pubic bone presses down into the floor, and of course, we're squeezing those buns. Good, keep going, keep twisting. 20 seconds left. Ten seconds. Really nice. All right, let's flip it on over. Up next, we have our wiggles, one of my favorites. Your legs are in your butterfly position, bending side to side, joining the knee and elbow. And go for it. I would exhale on each one of these bends. And remember, you're moving your upper body as well as your lower body. Again, amazing for those obliques. Good, keep those elbows nice and wide. Make sure you're pressing your lower back into the mat. 20 seconds. Good, 10 seconds left. You can do it, keep going, don't stop. Nice. All right, take your 20 second breather. Up next, we have our TikToks. We're going to place the right leg on the top, which means you tilt your legs to the left. And then when you have your left leg on the top, you tilt your legs to the right. Go for it. Arms are out to the side like a T and really let your arms help you. Press them into the floor, press your back into the floor and make sure you're really just staying in control of the movement. Don't just let your legs drop down to the floor. That's not gonna do anything. We're moving quickly, but staying in control. Place your legs on the floor gently, no noise, and then use your core to bring them back to center. Good, we're almost there, 15 seconds, you can do it. Yes, I love that one, my back always cracks. Okay, up next we have our crisscrosses with a beautiful leg extension. Opposite elbow to knee, extend and bend. And go for it. Keep the elbows wide. Try to keep that elbow knee connection as you lengthen the leg up as long as possible. Good. Keep lengthening those legs apart in opposition. You can do it. 15 seconds, you got it. Keep going, stay strong. Woo! All right, flipping over for our next one. We're gonna get into a forearm plank and do 
our spider planks. So this is when we just bring the knee towards the same elbow. All right, no cheating. Get that booty down. Core engaged, belly button pulling in and up. Feel the length in your spine. Feel the energy shooting out of the crown of the head. 30 seconds. Good, keep going my friends, you can do it. I know this is a tough one. I struggle with this one too, but don't give up. Really push yourself, keep going, keep going. Eight seconds left, don't stop. Woohoo, nice job. All right, for our next one, we're gonna get onto the knees. So feel free to fold your mat in half. I like a little extra cushion. And we're just going to go for our ceiling, oh wow, our kneeling side bends. I tried to say too many words at the same time. <laughs> Here we go, one leg is out, we are bending from the waist. We're keeping the palms attached. Make sure the elbows are slightly bent so we can really press those shoulders down and keep the neck nice and long. Good, love this one. Keep going, 20 seconds. Ten seconds left. Good, all right friends. Take a little breather and the next exercise is, of course, the same thing, just on the second side. Let's even it all out. And go for it. Bending away from the leg, keeping the space between the shoulders and ears, super important. Good, 30 seconds. Ten seconds left, you got it, keep going. Good work, all right, take a little breather. Let's get ready for the next one. We're gonna come down onto the forearm, stack the legs, legs are bent, and we're just gonna go for some nice little hip dips. Dipping down and lifting up. All right, go for it, everyone. Make sure that supporting elbow is directly beneath that shoulder. You can reach your top arm up. You can put your hand behind your head or you can put that hand on your hip. Totally up to you. Oh, and here comes my little furry friend. This is Lulu, everyone. <laughs> it's very rare that she makes appearances in my videos, but when she does, I have to say it is awfully cute. 10 seconds. Nice. Oh, all right, swing the legs around. Next exercise is the same thing, just on the other side. Elbow beneath that shoulder, stack the legs. And go for it. Breathe deep, everyone. Think happy thoughts, you can do it. 30 seconds.
Good, almost there, 15 seconds left. Don't give up, keep going. Yes, great job. All right, we're going to revisit our wiggles, but this time the legs are in a straddle split. Same kind of movement, elbow to knee. All right, go for it. Really bending from the waist, exhale on each bend. Upper body and lower body both move. Elbows wide. Lower back pressing into the mat. Good. Keep going, friends. 20 seconds. You can do it. Don't give up. Almost there. Eight seconds left. Yes, all right. And believe it or not, we are at exercise number 14, flipping over forearm plank, and we're going to hip twist side to side. Okay, everybody, I really want you to go for this one. Twist it out. Keep your gaze at the mat. Your spine nice and lengthened and long. And just keep twisting those hips. 30 seconds. You can do it. I know you can. Think happy thoughts. You got this. 20 seconds left. Good. 10 seconds. Keep going, keep going. Woohoo! Amazing. I know, that one is such a killer. Anyway, it's, it's a killer for me. All right, circuit one is complete. Let's go back to the top and do the whole thing one more time. You can do it, stick with me, around the world. Rolling back and circling the arms, and then we go the other way. Make sure that twist is really happening from the waist. Keep your hips nice and square to the front. Beautiful job, everyone. You got this 20 seconds. Stay strong, you can do it. Nice. All right, up next we have our high five twists. Flex the feet. And again, we're in that half roll back position, belly scoop, tail is tucked. Your core is doing all the work here, so try not to grip in your hips. Try not to grip in your thighs. Good. And of course, big exhale on each twist. Good. Keep going, keep going. 20 seconds. Ten seconds left. Nice job. All right. Stick with me. Let's come down onto the forearms. Again, make sure the elbows are directly beneath the shoulders. Belly scoop, tail tucked, core muscles engaged. And we're twisting to extend the legs. 
and then crunch the knees in towards the chest. Good. I would inhale to lengthen out and exhale to bring the knees in. Keep pushing the floor away with your arms. No slouching. Beautiful. 15 seconds. You can do it. You can do it. Yes. Oh, all right, let's flip it on over. Here come our prone twists with our arms in a T. Legs are open about the width of the mat. Tummy muscles working for this one. And go for it, twisting from the waist, side to side. Good, pubic bone down, squeeze those buns. Keep pulling your navel to your spine, super important. We gotta do that in order to protect the lower back. Good, keep going, 15 seconds. You can do it, you can do it. Nice job, everyone. Woo! All right, stick with me. We're almost there. Flipping over, and here come your wiggles with your butterfly legs. Knees out to the side. If your feet are pointed, you're gonna glue your toes together. If you prefer to flex your feet, you can just glue your heels together. Keep exhaling on your bends, elbows and knees wide out to the side. <laughs> Lulu is really enjoying this workout. <laughs> I hope she's giving you all a good laugh or just some good smiles. 10 seconds. Beautiful, really nice work. All right, TikToks are up next. Remember, whatever leg is on the top, you tilt in the opposite direction. So if your right leg's on the top, tilt to the left. And go for it, moving as quickly as you can, but still staying in control of the movement. Use your arms, pressing them down into the floor. Beautiful, 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds left, you can do it. Don't give up. Really nice. Okay, exercise number seven. Here come your crisscrosses with your beautiful leg extension. All right, go for it. Opposite elbow to knee. And lengthen the leg nice and long. Pressing the lower back into the mat, even if you're tired. Don't let that back arch. Good, you can do it. 20 seconds, breathing deep. Ten seconds left. Good. 
Beautiful. Woo! All right, take some nice deep breaths. We're going to flip over and get into our forearm plank for our spider leg planks. Booty down, knee to arm. I like to exhale as I bring the knee in and then inhale to step back. If it feels better for you to do the other way around, of course you can do that or you can just allow your body to breathe naturally. Just as long as you're breathing, that's all that really matters. We want the breath to work with us and not against us. So you have to find what feels best for you. Eight seconds. You can do it. You can do it. Yes! Woo, that one gets me every time. All right, on to the knees. Again, feel free to fold your mat if you'd like a little extra love for your knees. And let's do our side bends. Arms up, hands directly above the head. Bending away from the leg and using your core to bring the body back up. Good, really push yourself, try to bend that extra little bit. I know you can, 20 seconds. Beautiful. Ah, all right. Let's get ready for the second side. Go for it. Thirty seconds. Good. Twenty seconds left. Keep going. Don't stop. So good. Ah, all right, stick with me. We are almost there. We have four more left. Let's finish strong. Onto your side. We're on the forearm, bend the legs. Legs are stacked. And go for it, friends. Hip dips, down and up, down and up. Looking good, stay strong. We're at 20 seconds, keep going. Almost there. Really nice. Oh. All right, swing it around, shake it out. Second side. And go for it. Good, 30 seconds.
20 seconds. Ten seconds. Yes. Woo. All right. Stick with me. Don't you dare give up now. We have two more. Lay on the backs, and here come our split wiggles. All right, have at it. Exhaling on each bend. Elbow and knee meet together in the center. Lower back pressing into the mat. Good, 30 seconds. You can do it. Really push yourself. Fifteen seconds. Amazing. All right, here's our last one. I really want you to just give it all you've got, flipping over forearm plank, and we go for our hip twists. and go for it really push yourself think about your form but try to move as quickly as you can good spine is nice and lengthened energy shooting out of the crown of your head belly button pulling in and up you're almost there keep going keep going keep going 20 seconds you can do it Good, 10 seconds left, finish strong. Go, go, go. And you did it. Ah, I'm so proud of all of you. All right, this deserves a abdominal stretch. So feel free to just push the floor away. Stretch out those abs. This should feel amazing. Good. And if you need to, shift your weight back into your child's pose. Take some nice deep breaths here. Beautiful job today, everyone. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. I absolutely love, love, love hearing from all of you. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love for you to officially join the Danzig Fitness family. If you're not already aware, please know that I teach many online classes and in-person classes. If you live in the New York City area, I would love to see you all in person or on Zoom. Check out the description box down below. I have links to all my class schedules and different free challenges. So check that out and please take care of you and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.